All right, being lenient is not a retention strategy, okay? Where are we at today? Unemployment's very low, correct? Good people are hard to find, but the unfortunate byproduct of that is I see organizations that are afraid to discipline employees, okay? They tolerate poor performance and bad behavior. And we shouldn't do that, okay? So I see people, ooh, I can't say something to them. What if they get upset and look for another job? Okay, let's go down that road. We've all been there, right? Somebody comes into your office and turns it into a two-week notice. Here's the point. You thought the world was going to end, didn't you? But fast forward to today, you made it, right? Somebody stepped up or you found somebody different or you figured it out one way or another. Not that that's plan A, okay? I don't want you to think that. We should coach employees. We should develop them, and the majority of them will be very successful. All right, but here's the thing, you can't be afraid to challenge employees. Here's a question I'd like to ask. Who was your favorite high school teacher? I can still remember mine, all right? But nine out of 10 people come up with somebody that actually pushed them, right? But they did it in a way that seems like they care about you. So you're okay with it, and that's basically how we need to coach people. We can't be afraid to challenge them. And when it comes to rock stars, they want to be challenged. They want to learn and grow. If they plateau, that's a problem, okay? Because if I'm a rock star, here's the problem from an organizational standpoint. It's like, okay, she's trained in, she knows her job, we're good, we're done, right? But uh, from the employee side of the fence, they're like, well, wait a second. Uh, my generation's taught that my arrow should always be pointing up. And if my arrow's no longer pointing up with you, then maybe that's my cue that I need to go look for another organization, okay? <laughs> so, that's not good, we don't want that. We want to continually challenge our rock stars. In fact, 68% of employees today, when surveyed, say personal growth is the number one thing they're looking for from their employer. They want to learn, they want to grow, okay? So it's changing and we need to respond to that. And here's the thing, times have changed for sure. Like when I went to college and I took my last final exam, you know what we did? We partied. <laughs> you know why? Because we were done with school. We were never going to take a class again. That's how a lot of my generation looked at it. Today, completely different. Okay, maybe they still party. <laughs> how many young people do you know that's taking an online class? So they're going for a certification, but they're going to finish their master's someday, right? And as an employer, I'm like, wait a second, isn't this the generation I've been waiting for? I mean, if I just look at this right and leverage it, talk about a huge win-win opportunity for both of us. So we really have to look at it that way and give them their personal growth. The other thing we need to give them is a voice. People want to have a voice at work. In fact, look across society today. Wow, do people not demand to have a voice on issues they feel passionate about? They do, correct? That's how society's wired. And they don't leave that wiring in the employee parking lot. They bring it on in. And they want you to listen to them, okay? And you know this research, it's old research. If you listen to an employee, even if you don't implement their idea, but you give them the why, they feel better that you took the time to listen in the first place, right? You've heard that? That's still true. Hey, I got one better. You want to raise morale? Start tomorrow morning? Actually implement one of their ideas. You want to increase engagement? that people feel like they're making an impact, implement, they have good ideas. They do, and I guess I always follow Voice at Work anyway. Why? I've managed two organizations. I don't know that either time I was the guy that knew everything that was going on. You knew who the most about what was going on? The people doing the work, okay? So how am I doing my job if I don't ask them, what do you think, what are you seeing? And, and, I care about employees. How would I convey that I care, but I've never asked her, how's the job going for you? Does that make sense? So we absolutely should be employing voice at work anyway. How do you marry the two together? Personal growth, voice at work, a personalized development plan. Today's employee, they don't want the standard training program. I deserve a customized plan that accommodates my experience, my education, my background, my skills, which department I'm placed in, which supervisor I'm paired with. And in fact, can I even have some input into the development plan? That's the home run. That's what today's employees are looking forward to, increase engagement and increase retention. Thank you.